up guys out here on the Cape welcome back to the channel guys we're out here with Robbie what's going on Robbie boys? T I'll link his Instagram below He's also got a fishing Instagram, 508 Bass, right? Cape Cod, baby, 508. Cape, Cape Cod Massachusetts. Bass, 508 Bass, that'll all be linked below. Um, we're out here blowing a little bit. I'm not sure about this audio right now. Um, but yeah, we didn't run the GoPros to start. Just landed at like three, three and a half pounds small mouth pound smally, on the Mega Bass DT10. Dude, Vision 110, baby, look at that fish. That's Spencer's fish, dude. Dude. That's a giant. <laughs> That's, good That's how you start the day right there. Robbie called yes, it all out. Pulled into this little bowl here, completely windblown. And just pre-spawn smallies, baby. Dude, pre-spawn smallies, dude. I'm they telling you, stomp it. the Mega Bass jerk right there. Stomp. So we're pumped up. We're going to get the GoPros going. Probably won't catch anything once we get those going. But no, we're, we're going to see what we can do here. Um, you guys got to stay tuned. It's going to be a good episode, boys. Let's yes, go. Sir. Gonna get a weight on this guy here. One point, hold on. She won't convert to pounds, boys. One, one, one point one four locked in kilograms. So drop a comment below right <laughs> now. How much is one point one four kilograms? It's probably like a two and a half, three pounder. Yeah, two and a half, three pounder. I'm sure that is a gorgeous fish. Dude. Gorgeous fish. Check the colors, dude. Beautiful. Look at that. Do some of them have those dark red eyes on them that are just nuts? Underwater, yeah. All right, boys. Just caught that two and a half pound smallmouth. We did that little conversion there. Maybe got a little overhyped on it, but it was just super fun. His first fish of the day absolutely stomped the jerk bait there. Um, so we kind of motored out to the top of this little cut. Super wind blown. Gonna work our way back in there, see if we can find one of his buddies. You guys gotta stay tuned. That's a good cast right there, boys. I don't know what's gonna happen, but. I just want to feel dead weight and for it to be a four plus large mouth. I bet the large mouth out of here is so white too. So, the bellies are white. Yeah. How, but a really dark line? Dark line. Yeah. I bet they're pretty. Dude, that small mouth, I don't know if you noticed, I noticed when I was filming on the GoPro, I think you guys saw, is that, you know those little lines that they have coming off their eyes? Yeah. Yeah, those three lines. That, that fish had those so prominently, it was insane. I hope that looks sick on GoPro, because we don't have like a big camera out here today. Um, but I think it still looked pretty good. Just whacked it. Little one, little one. Not little, little, but little, pretty little. Hey, we like all our small Woo boy. Second smaller of the day. Like Hit it. I told this is what I told you. Exactly. That's what I fucking told you. That's fish and stick. Uh yeah. It's a, it's a nice one. Decent little small jaw. Second one of the day, boys. Absolutely stop. This guy is putting in the work right now. We're really kind of developing a little pattern here. It's like the mini bowls with that wind blown in. You know, like other side of the points, I guess, is kind of the deal. Um, that's where I caught that first one and then that little one. And Robbie, we believe, missed a giant large mouth. Yeah. Yeah. So we're kind of in the money zone right here. See if we can trigger another bite here for you guys. This jerk bait bite is really fun. Obviously that was a small fish, but it was super fun. I wish I got that first fish on GoPro. That's my only problem. Try and find another one that caliber for you guys. That two. Ooh! 
Might be a better one. Might be a better one. Yeah, it's a better one. That's a better one, boys. Nope. Let's go. Let's go. They really are, boys. Yeah, you should. Third small of the day. Just a beauty. Dude, they're bending that hook out. Smoked. Oh yeah. Smoke the jerk bait again, guys. They just literally run into this thing. I'm telling you right now. Gorgeous little largey. I mean small mom. Sorry. <laughs> Woo! No way. That's awesome. That's the whole deal right there. That's literally when it comes down to it guys, it's yeah. warm nights is the deal. Straight up. Warm nights and water temp. Warm nights obviously lead to warmer water temp. That's kind of the whole thing when it comes down to it. Just consistent warm nights. That's what we want. And big bites. Warm nights equals big bites. <laughs> oh yeah. Wind equals bites, boys. I'm telling you right now. The nastier, the better. Oh yeah, no, it's a better bite, dude. It straight up is. When you had those bluebird dead, you know, calm days, like that's a tough bite. That wind is a trigger, literally a trigger. Even on these bluebirds, it helps you out a bunch. Especially these smallmouths. Four small of the day. Look at that. Look at the stomach on him, dude. Jeez. He's getting ready to bed up. Pre-spawn. Pre-spawner, dude. That eye. Look at those lines you were talking about on his cheek. That look at that. Beautiful dude. dude. Just gorgeous fish. Gorgeous. Once they get to this like two pound size, that's when they really start developing those colors. Yeah. It's gonna release on them, dude. Yeah, let that guy go. See yeah, buddy. Dude. Gonna fish this pretty hard for a bit. And kind of that afternoon bite, we're going to head to more of a, you know, largey bite where we're flipping some stuff, throwing black and blue chatter baits around, seeing what's going to eat. But this is just a gorgeous morning out here, boys. Haven't been on a smallmouth bite in a long time. Where we are on the river, that's where we do most of our smallmouth stuff. It's kind of blown out in the spring and the water level is just changing all the time. So we kind of stay, stay away from that um, until like mid may june depending how long the spring goes right now we're in a really really long and slow spring but this week looks better temperature wise and kind of turning into that more spring bite where we can get a consistent pattern going so we'll see what ha happens there but super pumped for that first fish and it just got freaking smoked again um chasing big smallmouth and largemouth on the We just hooked up big smallmouth. Come on, come on. Oh, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Look at that chunk, dude. That is a beautiful, oh my, beautiful smallie, dude. Look at the red eye right there. On that Vision 110 plus one. That's a chunk. Oh my god. Let's go, dude. Beautiful, dude. That's what it's about, right? But dude, that's a three pounder. You know what's scary? Check the out. The other one was bigger than this. Mine? Oh, no. no. The one that followed mine. Oh, way bigger. Yours. All right, guys. We just had two giant follows. That was a thing. And we're going to go back up um, and do a kind of drift and fish a little deeper because these fish were following it right up to the boat and then kind of diving down. But check out what. Oh, look at the stomach on him, dude. 
Just straight pre-spawn. Straight pre-spawn. This is in that same exact cove that I caught that first one in. Let's go, dude. That's awesome. Beauty. Small jaws, baby. Let me get a picture of that thing. Yeah, absolutely. Look at this stomach, dude. Wow. Just a gorgeous small dog, dude. Paul, oh. dude. What are we in now? 20 foot? 50. Oh. I love that depth for jerk baits, dude. Like 12 to 17 foot, 18 foot. Huh, come on. I love this mega bass jerk bait. If you guys are fishing a trout pond, well, obviously for large mouth, for large mouth or small mouth, I love how natural this is, but it still has that trout. Look at the fucking detail. Just the tail of it has yeah, that little exactly, uh, pink. Exactly, that little purple pink. Purple and check the detail. Tell me that does not look like a trout head. Yeah, look like at that detail. Green pumpkin just dark, ridiculous like, detail. I don't know if you guys can see it that good, but this thing is just deadly. The wasagi color. Wasagi color. The old wasabi sauce. <laughs> I kind of love jerk baits on spinning rod. I do, I kind of do love it. The only thing I think, the I think I do, I think like I work the bait way better. Because I've always struggled on jerk baits on a bait caster. Yeah. I feel like it has, I feel like it has a way more erratic um, retrieve than the bait caster where you're just boom, boom, and it's like twitch, and it's not that little dance kind of thing. It's more just a boom, boom. Yep. This is more like the boom, 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 boom. Yep. That's such a sick saying from Missile. I love that right there. Serious soft plastic. That's just a sick company motto right there. The D bomb is ridiculous. If you guys don't fish D bomb creature baits, you're doing you're doing something wrong. I love the band eater bug, but, but I just love the kickers on that D bomb. Just I like the bandito bug way better as a trailer, as a jig trailer. But if you're Texas rigging stuff, that D bomb you got to throw the D bomb, dude. Straight up. Check out that timber, dude. Oh my god. Just endless. Comment below, guys. Would you guys rather flip docks or would you rather flip timber? I'm a straight up timber guy. I'm interested to see what you guys like flipping better. What do you like flipping better? If you had to pick one day to flip, last day flipping on earth. You flipping docks all day or timber? Timber all day, yeah. My only thing with that too is like, I love timber so much too because I also love throwing spinner baits and chatter baits in wood. And square bills too. Like with the dock, I feel like you just don't have as much like, it's kind of, I don't know. It's all preference obviously. Another big smallie. Gorgeous fish, dude. Dude, look at that fish. Oh my oh, god. Oh boy. Wow. Another gorgeous smallie. The red eye, dude. Oh yeah, my god. In Spencer's god. words, he stomped it. He literally he fucking stomped it, dude. What is it? How many smallmouth is that? Ten? I don't day, know, dude. dude. Close? Let's go. Let's go. Baby. Let's go. Beautiful smallies. Dude. Just ridiculous colors. It's as cool as it gets right there. So, think, dude, we dude, put that together. Might have been the one that falls mine. I don't know. Dude. Guys, we put together a good bag. Like for up here. Bag, dude. Good fish. Get, for let's get a weight on that one. That, yeah. I think that's the biggest one of the day. That's got to be, dude. Bro. He just doesn't have that pre-spawn belly, that but belly, he's but way he's longer. longer. Yeah, 
He's in better Fish. shape for sure. Let's see what we got for We're gonna get a weight on him, guys, right now. Let me show you guys what got it done today. First off, both jerk baits by Mega Bass. This kind of trout, natural trout color, I think I showed you guys earlier. That's what got it done for me. And then this bigger, bigger build Mega Bass jerk again. 107 on the uh, kilograms. He just doesn't have the stomach. That one got it down. Got it done for Robbie. Oh, 107? Yeah. So like a two, two a and a quarter. A little over two pounds, dude, on that Two and a quarter. Right there. Get a good shot of that for Mega Bass. <laughs> hey. That's crazy. Wow, dude. Super sick. Super clear water, Mega Bass jerk bait, trout color. Dude, not even a slow pause, just straight almost retrieve with jerk in it. And they are. They're stomping that thing, boys. Nice jerk bait condition right there. 14 foot of water, low 50s, chasing smallmouth on a jerk bait, boys. Come on, early May. Super fun. Super freaking fun. Dude, I saw him come up from 15 feet of water. Did you actually see that? Oh, I saw the whole, yeah. yeah. I saw him come up from like 50, clap, clap. You can tell they're just built really freaking well in here too. <laughs> Imagine drop shotting actual crayfish, boys. How sick would that be? Yeah, how's your drop shot with a live bait crayfish? That should do some freaking damage. Yeah, so guys, these fish are kind of staging. The smallmouth are kind of staging. I think we're a little far, a little bit farther away from that largemouth spawn. But it's been warm. It's going to be a very warm weekend. Still kind of chilly overnight. High 30s, low 40s overnight. Oh, Ro Robbie just got bit. TRD. Robbie's throwing the Z-Man TRD. Um, Ned Rig. He just got bit. Good bite. I'm gonna start working this thing a little quicker, see what happens. It kind of seems like they're just getting it's more of like a reaction, kind of pissed off, kind of bite more than I'm triggering these fish to actually eat it. You don't want them? Check out the. No, I think yours might have been bigger earlier. I don't know. I think this one weighs better. I think yours had a fatter stomach, to be honest. Dude, this one might no be a way. Bit longer, dude. I'm gonna get a weight on this fish, guys. One one five. Oh, yeah, little same. Dude, one one. Same exact. Hold on, size. let's see what it locks at. One eleven. One eleven. Little small. Two and a half pounder almost. Yeah. Two and a half pounder. So one twelve. So. Call it like what? What's our best five for today, dude? So we caught close, two two and a half. Ten pounds. Two two and a half, and then three like one pounders. One and a half pounders. Two and, one and, and a half. half pounders. So like, what's that math? So yeah, probably like 10, 11 pounds. Yeah. Good bag of smallmouth, dude. We're nice growing fish, too. Dude. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna call some big. Yeah, ones we're, too. we're, we're about to get out some good ones. Look at that stomach, bro. Dude, let's get a release on him. Ready? This is gonna be a sick shot. <laughs> let's go, dude. Let's go, babe. Ready? Flip that, guys. See you, buddy. Wow. Great job, dude. dude that's Great cool, job. I think that's going to wrap let's up go. the smallmouth portion of the day, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please, guys, like and subscribe to the channel. Check out these guys. They're, they're a good little brand they got going on. Check, check out this guy's fishing page, 508 Bass. 508 Bass. 508 Bass. All Massachusetts content. Robbie T. I'll have both of that stuff linked down below. Please, guys, check out our merch, BerkshireBassin.com. That'll be linked below. Low. and obviously if you guys are looking to get on a trip give us a call shoot us an email get in touch with us so we can put you on some quality They'll stuff put you on some good fish, so yeah thank you guys so much again for watching really appreciate it and we'll see you on the next episode boys